This case has been so shocking from beginning to end, and now we're learning about a new disturbing layer to this tragedy. A lot of our foundations as a society are toxic. They're ungrounded and they're unrealistic. LAPD confirms Danielle Johnson, a.k.a. Danielle Ayoka, seen here on The Scotty and Sylvia Show, was an astrology influencer on social media who was concerned about the eclipse. Eclipses, there's more births, there's more deaths. Leading up to the eclipse on Monday, Danielle, who went by the handle Mystic X Lipstick, made several alarming posts like these. Wake up, wake up. The apocalypse is here. And the eclipse is the epitome of spiritual warfare. She also reposted alerts that signaled this is the final warning. Something big is coming. This type of story is, is, is probably one of the most tragic and horrifying stories that we'll ever hear about. Like the rest of us, clinical psychologist Dr. David Swanson, who never treated Danielle, is trying to make sense of this horrific tragedy. Just hours before the eclipse was to take place over California, Danielle stabbed her boyfriend to death in Woodland Hills, pushed her kids out of a moving car on the 405 freeway in the Westchester area, which resulted in the death of her eight-month-old baby and the injury of her nine-year-old daughter. Then Danielle died after crashing her Porsche into a tree in Redondo Beach. Perhaps she thought that this eclipse meant that it was the end of the world. The apocalypse was here, uh, especially because of some of the statements that she made. There were plenty of similar posts and videos on social media predicting all kinds of disasters and the end of the world. And when you're sitting on TikTok or you're on social media, and clearly she was an influencer, so you know she watched a lot of this stuff, uh, it's very easy to get sucked into the fear that these videos start to create. Could this have been postpartum depression? I don't think it would have been totally postpartum depression because we have a lot of women who deal with postpartum depression and it doesn't result in something like this. But certainly any type of mood disorder makes it much harder to cope with other things as they start to come up. Looking at this tragedy in hindsight, Dr. Swanson says there were obvious signs. The happy and smiling Danielle had changed and was struggling with something dark. She was warning people. She was uh, saying, pick a side. Uh, the, the way that she typed about it was in all caps. It looked like she was very disturbed. It's an evil world we live in.